Problem 14. We have this 4x third squared, so I'm going to have to figure out what that is, and then I'm going to multiply it by the 2x to the fourth, subtract the answer I get here. So let's start off with this, 4x to the third. Now that just simply means 4x to the third times itself again, 4x to the third, times 2x to the fourth, minus whatever I get over here. 5x, whoa, to the fourth, crazy. 5x squared times another one, times another one, times another one. Ooh. Now times 2x to the third, so I have three of these, 2x, 2x, 2x. What was I thinking when I made this problem? I'm trying to make you work hard here. Let's see what we have. We have 4 times 4 times a 2. Let's take care of the numbers first. 4 times 4, 16 times 2, 30. X, 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 How many X's do you and I have? If we listed this out as X, 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 and then you got four of them here. Four, three, that makes 10. So you got 32 X to the 10th minus whatever we get over here. The only way we're going to be able to subtract is we have blank X to the 10th, because that's the only way we could do it. Let's see what we have. You got all these fives to multiply. Oh, it's so hard for my mind to do. Well, notice a five and a two, though. So you got to do all this. Do you really want to do five times five, 25, 25 times five, 125, 125 times five, blah, 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 times two. Now you don't want to do that. Look at this. Notice five times two is how much? That five and two makes 10. This five and two is going to make 10. This five and two makes 10. And then I got an extra five. Well, 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000. And 5 times 1,000 is 5,000. Look at numbers. Put together what can be put together easily. Yeah, some of you probably grabbed your calculator, but use your mind a little bit. And really, it wouldn't have been that hard to go through. But notice things like that if they're there in front of you. Now i got to deal with all this. i got x, 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 x. So that, that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'm going to have 11 of these x's. Now look, you got 32 x to the tenths minus 5,000 x to the elevenths. Are these the same? Can you subtract things that are different? No. Our final answer is simply this, 32 x to the tenth minus 5,000 x to the eleventh. You can't go any further. That's as far as it goes. Now, some teacher might say, oh, factor out an x to the 10th. No, we're not doing that here. This is much prettier the way it is. So just leave it this way because we're not trying to solve for something and get x's value. It doesn't have an equal something, so we don't need to do any of that. So 14, there's our answer. You just have to be careful with the number of x's. And again, a good problem for thinking about looking, seeing a 5 and a 2 making a 10. And 10s are always easy to multiply. That's why our metric system is based off of it. There's problem 14 for you.